Today I'm going to take you through painting this wet in wet watercolour sky step by step in Art Rage 5. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here again. I'm actually going to take you through step by step every single brush stroke of this painting to show you how you can produce something similar to this. So hopefully you will enjoy this and um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Be much appreciated. Right, let's get started. I've um, enlarged my reference picture. This is a sky that we're going to try and paint in Art Rage. But I just want to do a quick sketch. So I'm going to choose uh, a pencil brush there. There we go. Um, oh, I also need to add my brushes that I'm going to use. So I go to Toolbox, Load Toolbox, and choose my custom watercolours. When I say custom, it's just a palette I've put together. They're not actually custom brushes. So I've got my pencil. And um, I thought I had presets over here. I have. So we can have, uh, let's just use hard and dark. So I need, this, this painting is all about sky. So I'm going to speed through the drawing to get to the good stuff. Right, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to paint this sky, I'm going to lock my drawing layer, so you choose lock and then lock all, and then I create a new layer, and I'm going to choose the delicate wet in wet, I'm working on an A4 sheet, uh, or canvas, so I'm going to bump my, if I've if I got the brush at 100%, I'm going to put some of this um, blue, this dark blue in, I think I'll use that. It doesn't give you a very big brush stroke. So I am going to um, undo that and then click on the percentage size. You can't do this on the slider, you have to type it in. And I'm gonna put in, I don't know, 400%. And that will give me a much bigger stroke. And also I felt that blue was a bit purple let's see what what does that do still a bit purple let's go a bit more towards the so set time making my palette up and i don't like it ah that's it that's what we want probably a bit a bit deeper actually Stronger colour, alright then. No, that's too great. Too pale. Let's go a bit more that way. Let's clear this all again. Because once you've got a colour on, it does tend to um, pollute what you're trying to get. There we go, that'll do, that's it. So, I'm just using this colour. just to sort of roughly get in the shapes I want. I like this wispiness that we get in there as well, so I've got to try and capture that. Come down here a little bit. You notice I, I'm not I'm not really worrying too much about detail. Just change the colour a bit because it gets a bit, see so it gets a bit greener there and you can, sorry it blends in, that's, I quite like that. And we'll make that a bit lighter. A bit lighter still. I 
I'm actually going to, um, I think I'll, I'll bring that down there as well. Do the water while we're at it. And we need to go back towards that scale, I think. Yeah, that's so cool. Then lighter again. That's it. Right, now let's get some of these clouds in there. So I'm using this light colour to just soften the edges. of these cloud shapes. And also I just wanna add a few wisps in there. That's it, like that lot. Oops, a bit too much. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on the brush. Or I should say the stylus. I'm going to come, I know they haven't got any of this side, but I'm going to put some in anyway. In fact, I totally missed that, didn't I? Let's, let's um, push some cloud in there. That's it. And we've got this big cloud going off here. And this is all done so far with a delicate wetting wet brush. I don't think you need to to try and and get exactly what is on on the um, photo. We, we just. Trying to get something that looks similar. I still haven't changed the size of the brush either. This is all, I think, at 400%. Uh, if you use the stylus and just touch it lightly onto the tablet and don't lift it off, you can sort of smear the paint a bit. Like that, sort of push it around, which is quite nice. Now, to me, this is looking pretty cool. It's, it's a nice, refreshing looking sky. Doesn't take too long. Blend this in. I'm not so sure about the water. Um, I'm not feeling that 100%. Let's put some of this foreground colour in. Um, I do struggle talking when I'm painting. Right, so that's, oh, I'll put a little bit more just here. Um, I 
that's the foreground. So all done with one wet in wet, delicate wet in wet brush. And then what I'm going to do now, and this is the key to most of my watercolour paintings, I'm going to choose the Harsh Chaos palette knife and again I'm going to click on the percentage and put that to I'm going to try 200% and watch what happens when you soften the edges you get this oh, let's do it down here you get this sort of effect where your paints bleeding back on itself and that to me just makes it look so much like a watercolour and I can go into this cloud and just soften them edges up and that, that is I think is the secret to That's the secret to getting it look looking like a realistic sky. I can blend across there as well. Oh, that's that's I'd call that a, an happy accident. There. Could do it on the water as well, I suppose. Although I'd probably really want to keep that smoother. So that I think is the first layer done. Oh, I'll just soften that bit there. Yeah, that's the first layer done. But now we need to put the shadows underneath the clouds. So for that. Um, I'm going to create a new layer. <clears throat> so let's lock this one so I can't go back into it by mistake. And we need this kind of grey colour, I think. So let's pick a grey. Um, I don't want it to be too dark. I'm thinking. I think in fact that might do it. Let's just try that. We'll go back to our delicate wet in wet in wet. I want a smaller brush this time, so I'm gonna knock it. I'm gonna select two hundred percent, and let's see what we get. I'm just wondering if that's the right color. Which is my arse, harsh chaos brush just to blend that away. You can leave a few odd edges if I like that colour or not. No, I don't. I'm going to get rid of that. I think what I really want is um let's go with this one I, I want it to still be blue notice i have a palette set up i always i i do that with all my paintings i create a palette before i start so and i've got an idea of the colors i'm working with i have a that's better um May still be a bit dark actually, let's just soften it up a bit. Yeah, I like to know exactly what I'm working with colour wise. Oh, 
I think I think it's important to have an idea of your palette before you start. Don't just sort of keep picking them off your um, colour wheel or whatever you're using. I've got the square thing going off here. I don't know what you'd call that. No, I think that's quite nice. That's sort of... Is it looking a bit stormy? I might just um, not once I've done this, knock the um, opacity back of the layer. Make this a bit darker again. Um, I want the palette knife, that's 200%. Yeah, that's cool, I like that. It just adds that little bit of, in fact, that's too much now. I'm going to change the size to 100. Just soften that. Leave if, just that, the odd indication that there's an odd edge there. Don't have it all soft all the way round. There we go. I think we need to put a bit more paint just up here. Too strong again. Let's make it a bit weaker. Better. Yeah, that'll do. In fact, I'm going to just bring that over there a little bit. If you want to um, just remove some, don't don't be afraid to use your eraser as well, just to change the shape slightly. This is looking or fairly reasonable, I think. Let's go a little bit stronger again, just for this bit here. Back to the horse, harsh. Why do I keep saying horse? Not good, is it, for a family, a family show? Harsh chaos brush. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm just gonna dig into this a bit with the eraser. Just blend it a little bit. It's a better shape, I think. Yeah. So I'm continually flipping back between that wet and wet brush. 
and the palette knife. Let's get some clouds on here, or I should say shadows, not clouds. There we go. Sort of try to push those together a bit. I, I really struggle talking while I'm doing this. So I'm Apologise that I'm a little bit quiet. And I think I'm going to a bit stronger colour, but a bit paler perhaps. Just for doing these clouds down here. Yeah, and then pick up that uh, part knife, the arse, the arse chaos brush. There we go. I like it. I am going to create another new layer. I'm not going to lock the one below it because I might keep going back into that. I'm going to choose a white and I'm going to choose this time I'm going. No, I'll stick with the delicate wet in wet. I'm keeping it at 100% and I just want to put some highlights on these clouds here. So I guess if you was, if this was a watercolor, you'd you'd be using an opaque paint like uh, gouache or something to do this. So this is, I don't think this is difficult with a bit of practice. Um, you might disagree with me I don't know but um, I'm not feeling it as, as being difficult I'm only using default brushes I haven't uh, taken any time to uh, change any settings or anything like that so you know Right, I've got those in, and I'm going to use that Harsh Chaos tool again. I'm actually going to go less than 100% now, just to soften if the bottom edges are, I really want to soften off. Leave those sharp edges on the top, like that. 
that makes all the difference. So there's a lot of blending going off here. Yeah. I may even uh, go back up here again and let's put a few highlights in this cloud up here. I'm even going whiter, let's go pure white. Hmm, doesn't feel pure white. Just um, do the, the magic with the, with the palette knife. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that. Let's just. It's okay. Um, I quite like this sort of wispy cloud thing going off here. Sort of painted over it. I suppose I could take it down there a little bit, like that. And you know, I'm not fussed about the fact that the clouds are different shapes and in in different places that doesn't doesn't really matter i just wonder if i should um Try and, and get a little bit more blue in here, I don't know. Hmm. Might be a bit tricky. Let's, let's sample that colour. I'm just going to put, put some more thinners in that. I don't want it quite like that. That's better. I suppose I'm, um, you know, you know what I'm fiddling. I probably got a sky here that has the effect I want, and I could just keep going and going and going. I'm working on it, but do I really need to do that? I think the answer is probably yes. Uh, I'll just do. I can't resist it. I can't resist. It. Oh. What happened there? Why is that so dark? Did the thinners go... When I selected that brush, I bet... Oh, yeah, the thinners reset themselves. Okay, that's just... Um... It just adds a, a little bit more dimension, I think. If you do the shadows like twice... It does add, um, definitely improves the effect.
So I've got to keep remembering to put in the thinners back up there a bit. Right, I want to just, um, yeah, something like that. Maybe just up there a little bit. This, this blending brush, it, it, I love it. It just totally is the bit that makes it looks so real yeah it just deepens up that cloud a little bit I, I quite like that I think I'm gonna leave that like that I might um, pick up the white again and just put a little bit in oh We've got the blending thing going off there. Just undo it, I think, is the easy solution to that. Right, so, how many layers have I got? One, two, three, four. I'm going to merge those two layers down. I do this a lot, just to keep the layer stack um, manageable, really. I think that's the sky bit done, to be honest. So I'm just sort of, uh, oh, maybe just, I forgot to just blend them off a little bit. I think that's a pretty cool sky. So I'm going to crack on with a new layer and put in these, this distant ill line. So I'm going to choose a fairly dark colour for that. Uh, I'm still going to put some thinners in it. Maybe not as much as that. And I am, you know what, I am going to need to rotate this canvas now. Only if I shrink it down, it will make it easier for me to do. Okay, uh, I'm going to put I want to just drop a bit of colour into that just in the odd place That's um, it's not exactly level is it? I suppose I could use um, a rule to draw a line, but hey, that would be cheating, man. So that's my distance line. I am going to use, guess what? The Osh Chaos Palette Knife. 
just take that down to about 50% and soften off the edge of that. Again, I've got the wet in wet thing going off here. Notice I've sort of pretty much ignored the um, drawing. Yeah, I like that. I quite like that actually. Let's um, see how the water is greyer. So I need to go back to my delicate wet in wet. Um, put out to about 300%. I'm on this layer with just that line on it. I, I'm going to create another layer actually and just drag it below the horizon line. I'm going to choose a colour that I think I, I want. Let's go with that one. I want the green off. Hmm, no. I'm saying I've got my palette selected. I'm having a, a bad job of actually choosing the colours I want. Alright, let's try again. What? Well, that's better. What? What is nice here is... Um, leaving that, see the white edge I'm leaving between the horizon and the water. I think that's quite important. It sort of gives the impression that the water's lapping up against the shoreline. Yeah, um, that's okay, I think. Where's my blended palette knife? Blend that into it so that disappears away. I quite like that stroke there. I need to now, um, I'm wondering if I make this delicate wet in wet, I'm going to push the colour bleed up to maximum, the pressure up to maximum. Uh, put a, give it white colour, thin us down, rotate this canvas. And see if I can get that work? No it doesn't, not at all. I'm trying to get a white line in there. Let's, maybe if I put the thinners up maximum, let's try it that way. Ah yeah, that, that does it. But I need to do it on the bottom layer that's locked. So let's unlock that. Or should I just, I've got a better way of doing this. Create a new layer, let's lock that again. Create a new layer, set the blend mode um, to lighten. Choose that white color. 
um, reset that brush, get it quite small. I guess I should, um, oops. I guess I should learn how to use the rules, really. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Uh, so while I've got this layer, I can zoom in a bit and, um, just pop, pop myself a few boats in there, I guess. Let's try the delicate on dry brush. I'm not going, I'm not going to put like loads of detail in for these boats. Now, I'm wondering if I've got the right blend mode there because you can see the distant hills are not um, being covered with the white. So let's see what else have we got. Might be. <sighs> Colour Dodge. No. Oops, where am I going? Screen? Nope. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought that would have... Oh, of course it won't. It needs to be on the layer above it. That's it, got it. So, and then I can go to, well, I can use that layer, I guess. Choose a colour and just put a little indication of a little boat under there. This is a really simple painting. It's not meant to be a masterpiece or anything. It's just, you know, um, a lesson in how to paint the sky, so I'm just putting the other bits in to make a finished painting really. Right, let's zoom out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get these people in, shall we? I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Um, We've got this white shirt going off, so I can go back to my um, layer that is set to white. Choose a white colour and just pop that in. That's it, then come off that layer. And I'm just going to use some sort of dark colours, I guess. Put some shading in his shirt. Give him some legs. We've got a massive head. We've got, we've got to rectify that. 
his, his head's probably only going to be that big, really. That's it. Head there. Now, if I put some pinks in, it will draw your eye to that. I'm thinking. Just let these colours sort of merge together. It's almost, you know, a, an abstract type thing going off. Um, make it a bit bigger. Use my blending tool again. Oh, missed it. Yeah, I'm thinking that's looking cool. Soften that off. I don't know how long this video is. Looks like it might be quite a long one. I'm thinking 50 minutes. Wow, that is long. Uh, knock that down. I just want to put a few. Flick it on. Oh, too big. Too big, man. There we are. That's it, that will do. I'm running out of time. So let's just get this signed. I can't do it small. I'm going to have to do a new layer. This is because I'm, I'm working on a into his pro. Uh, I'd love to upgrade to a, a tablet, you know, the touch screen thing, but not to be just yet. Right, I want to transform the layer contents. There we go, I can move that. There's a space there for it. Shrink it down. I've shrunk it too much, yeah. Put that there, shrink it a bit more. Cool, that is it. So, thank you for um, watching this video with me. Stay until the end. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful and learnt a few things. If you have, uh, a big thumbs up would be much appreciated as always, helps me out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I have lots of videos all about digital painting and I would love to be sharing those with you. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.